Hi everyone, Anitra Sleevy Stamper here with the Paper Craft Star and we're back with another First Friday tutorial. Every First Friday of the month uh, we're trying to bring you a tutorial on um, on just different things and last month we took a break for the 4th of July holiday but we're back this, this month and today I wanted to do a tutorial on making these super cute little um, vellum bags. Um, so let me get started and tell you the things you'll need. You'll need some vellum paper. This one, however, is called the, um, it's put out by the paper company and it's called, I believe, translucent bright white paper. You can see that. So um, that's what I have. So that's what we're gonna I'm going to use. You need a bone folder, um, some score tape or red line tape. And score tape comes like this. Um, it's just a really, um, really heavy duty adhesive. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use just the generic because that's what I have open. And what else do you need? Um, just like a scrap piece of paper. Um, this may be a little less than, what is this, like four inches? Yeah, just so you're able to see what you're doing. Because when it, you're trying to work on top of the vellum itself, it's really hard to see. So just a little scrap piece of paper. This is mine. And decorative edge punches. Or decorative scissors. These are pinking shears. Um, they're just zigzag scissors, but I know they come in all kinds. I think they still have them. I'm not sure. The decorative edge scissors. Uh, your favorite stamps and some stays on ink. And optional, if you have one of these old dinosaurs, um, a paper clipper along with um, some adhesive that you use in your crafting. Um, I'm going to use an ATG gun. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, let's go ahead and take off this tag. I only showed you, let me just show you so you can see what I was using. Um, here you go. What we're going to do is we're going to fold the paper into thirds, and they're not going to be even thirds because we're going to make sure they overlap because that's what we're going to use to adhere the back seam because this is going to be the back of your bag. So I overlap it maybe, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 5 eighths, but I mean, half an inch is fine. And then you're going to crease the sides using your trusty bone folder. I'm going to okay. So then that is this back seam we're going to make to our bag. And this will be the front, the nice, pretty side, flat side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my heavy-duty tape down along the bottom, keeping it close to the edge of the vellum. And I'm just going to put enough tape for the center. There's really no need to go all the way across when it's just going to overlap itself. <clears throat> so I just, I like to just do it on this side, what is my right side, so that it, it adheres this way. Um, but if you feel better with the left side, go ahead. Um, but for this tutorial, we're going to do it on this side. So I'm going to um, adhere, put some adhesive on just the edge of this side of the paper and I want to make sure it's a nice even distribution of that adhesive because because it is vellum if you have like clumps on it it will show through the vellum um, so we want to keep it looking nice and so what I go ahead and do is I let me put this back so I can see where we're at I'm going to make sure my bottom is lined up and my top and I'm going to go ahead and burnish it down. And you can see some of that adhesive through the vellum, but I mean, it's going to be towards the back, so I'm okay with that. And now I'm going to remove the protective coating from the heavy duty adhesive. And I recommend um, adhering this first, because I know when I was trying to figure this out, um, sometimes my flap would, would cut along the bottom, and if it was uh, exposed, it was really hard to um, to get it back up. So now um, I recommend doing this part first and then removing the protective covering on the heavy duty adhesive. Just 
So I'm going to remove that. And then how I do it is I'd like to just move my hand down. That way I know it's going to stay flush to the bag. Okay, so now is the optional part. This is not something you have to do, but if you do have one of these crimpers and you've had it forever and it's collecting dust like mine was, go ahead and get it out and let's um, crimp the bottom of this bag so it looks real nice. It has like a nice little finished bottom to it. And a crimper just makes like a corrugation or a corrugated um, pattern to your papers. I don't know, this is popular back in the Carol Duvall days. Remember when she had her show? And that's it, just that little that little bit of detail will really make your bag look <clears throat> real finished. So now what you want to do um, is use your favorite decorative edge punch. Um, I think I'm going to use just this scallop one. I mean, did we have, I know we all have like a lot of decorative edges, edge punches, so um, it's always fun just to use them whenever you can. So I'm going to line it up to where it's even. I want it to be pretty symmetrical on either side because that's where I am. Oops, I think I got it. Ah, oh, it's a little off. That's okay. So there's that. I wonder if I can go back and fix that. Let me try. Let me try real quick because that will bother me. See if it can be done. We will learn together. Ah, huh, not bad. That's better. That's nice and straight. All right. So there's your bag. And you can leave it like this too. Um, that would really fine but I found that um, I found well let's use this one I had this stamp set that I hadn't used it hadn't even been inked up and I kind of felt bad you know how sometimes we buy things and we don't use it um, get a block here real quick um, this is by Stamper's Best yeah Stamper's Best I think it's called yeah it's called Vintage French perfume label. And I thought with this type of bag that we're doing, I think that would look really nice. Have you ever done that? Bought a stamp, you thought, oh my gosh, it's so cute, I have to have it. And then months later, has it even been open? Okay. And I bought these stampers best. Um, they don't always come mounted. I think it's less expensive to get them unmounted. So this actually doesn't have the image on the back of the stamp. But that's okay. I kind of, it's pretty true. Oh, let's hope I did this okay. Here we are. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that pretty? And so there you go. There's your bag. Here's some other ones that I've made. Let me get this out of the way so I don't dirty something up. Here's this one I made. This is using a stamp I got at Michael's. I believe it's by Hero Arts or Stampendous. That's what it is from. So there's that. And how cute would it be to um, maybe give something to one of your crafty friends, like some doilies? Just stick them in there. I love the way you can see through the bag, like a little hint. Look at that. A little ribbon. And there's a nice little gift for a friend. And then I also did these, these little treat bags. And then I did the same thing, only I used only half a sheet of paper. But I thought these came out really cute. And that's just one of those Michael's dollar bin stamps. Um, I think it was even less by the time I bought mine. I think it was like 50 cents. So these little stamps are so sweet. And I filled one up with buttons because Lord knows candy's not going to last in this house. 
I have two small children. But isn't that really cute? And you can put like a little candy in there, a little treat. I think someone would really appreciate it if they got a little gift um, like this. And the presentation's just so pretty. So anyway, that's our tutorial for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me show you some of the other bags I made using the scallops. It's another one of those. So pretty. With the Stampin' Up! edge dies. That's EK Success. Look how pretty that edge is. Oh, so beautiful. And here's another one in brown. They did the same stamp, but then this stays on timber brown. And then a large scallop. So I hope you give it a try. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. If you haven't checked out the Paper Craft Star, I'll leave the link down below. We'd love it if you join some of our challenges. Um, we're celebrating our three years um, of being a challenge blog. So love it if you could stop by and check out the design team. They make some amazing projects. Um, we enjoy every time someone enters, everybody um, goes and sees your projects, and who knows, you could be the next Papercraft star. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.